Hey there, Mountaineers. We got another review from Cubite Interactive. And this one was developed by No Good Games. And you can grab this right now for $3.99. And uh, pretty decent little $3.99 game. Um, has some fairly easy achievements, but not super easy because the game is very difficult. Uh, it, it can be frustrating, but I also had a lot of time. There's little checkpoints throughout the level. You know, so if you mess up, you can, uh, you know, start back from that spot. But you're going to die a lot. There's an achievement for dying like 60 times, I believe. Most achievements are for, like, collecting diamonds, getting to certain levels, and facing certain enemies. Uh, there's no bosses. There's four different, like, worlds. Like, a uh, pyramid, like a desert-type deal, uh, a forest. It'd be pretty cool for you to have, like, a boss between these. You know, to uh, go to the next section, but you pretty much just have to get there, and then uh, you know, get there to uh, get to the next area. You don't really have to collect the diamonds; it's just achievement based. Uh, if you get one hit, you die. You have to start at the beginning or at the next checkpoint. Uh, so it, it can be really frustrating and hard. But what's really, really frustrating right now, but I'm sure they will fix it. Anytime you get an achievement, it kicks you to the dashboard. And uh, you have to be careful to hit continue and not new game. Because if you do that, then you have to start all over. And there's 60 levels. Uh, so be really careful. I'm sure it'll be fixed by the time you uh, watch, by the time you grab it and play this. But in, but in case you're grabbing this right now, there's definitely a little uh, issue with uh, the achievements popping. They completely take you to the dashboard so just be really careful make sure you hit continue and set a new game right there you see I got an achievement and it kicked me to the dashboard so you have to hit play and then be real careful to hit continue don't hit play again so there you go you got 60 levels uh, you can pick normal or hard uh, it's a lot of fun and it's a lot of challenge if you like challenging games like uh, Meat Boy, I think that's what that game's called. My mind's not with me right now. It's like three in the morning. But yeah, it's it's real challenging like that. You just have to avoid traps, avoid enemies. You have double jumps. You have a little uh, dash forward type thing. You can also dash up with it. So if you need extra height on your jump, you can uh, use it there. So uh, it's definitely going to challenge you. You're definitely going to get frustrated at times. Hang in there. It's not that hard, really. Uh, it's, the levels aren't that big, so if you mess up, you know they put plenty of checkpoints. There's some levels like this one you see here has three of them. So even if you are struggling, you're not. It's not going to be that uh, big of a deal. You'll get through it. Uh, all the gems are easy to get to, so you're not going to have any problem getting that achievement as well. Uh, you should get a thousand on this if you beat it. There's nothing really that uh, you can miss because you're definitely going to die the amount of times that you need. You're definitely going to get the gems if you grab every one you see. And uh, the rest of them are basically just for getting to certain areas. So uh, yeah, I'm going to give this one a 7.1 out of 10. I, I think I would have went almost 8 if it worked properly. But uh, the bug was really annoying uh, having to keep starting over. Is like you would get to uh, the end of a level, you'd be all the way to the end of the checkpoint, and then uh, you would get achievement and have to start the level completely over. So you might want to wait and grab it after it's fixed, but uh, it's not really going to, it doesn't really matter that much. Let me know if you grab it, let me know if you beat it, uh, and let me know what you thought about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, see you in the leaderboards.